What's going on everybody? So this is the second video out of three that I'm doing. It is a solo flawless attempt in the new mission that has dropped with the Tuesday, February 14th weekly reset. But this is the second video, which is going to be on our warlock. So I'm going to get prepared and we will load in and I'll show you the loadout and we will attempt the mission for a solo flawless. So as you can see that well, you can already see that we have Starfire Protocol and Wither Horde. So as you can probably guess, if if you are a warlock main or you know warlocks as of quite some time we're going to be using a fusion aid build so we're going to load in and because of the fact that i haven't completed the mission on my warlock or my titan which the titan will be the third video it'll load us into the instance and it'll it'll give us the cutscene that we have with with anna so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly cut here i'm going to go through that cutscene and i will get to the point where we start the mission so i will be right back already so we are back and as you can see final dawn matchmaking is off they activity has a fixed power level which if you guys saw my hunter video it is locked at 1350 then a legend difficulty heavily shielded and highly aggressive combatants appear in greater numbers so let's we'll start the mission and we will launch in and now it's time for the warlock so we will do the same stuff as last time and uh we will see if we can get that flawless first try it's making my life easier are you coming towards me we go slowly but surely all right and now we go up we do have a well so i can use that if it's a really big panic oh no 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 get rid of some ads do little barker all right we've got immunes to big annoyances are gone i'm getting pretty low i'm gonna summon the heavy frames all right we should be good yep we are fine and dandy onto the next area we're fine let's check my recording make sure i'm all good i purposely turned off the game audio just so that um if you guys haven't already seen um well if you guys already haven't words i can speak them yes if you haven't already done the mission yourself there we go then um i would highly recommend doing it like on your own or with your friends first and then coming back and watching these uh solo flawless attempts because if not then this would be spoiler territory nobody likes spoilers nobody likes spoilers indeed oh that was a almost dead all right pop a whiffed whether it's dead you are dead all right i think that's everything in this room all right Let's get all these captains. Make sure we don't die. Because then the big beef is going to come out shortly. Alright, let us upload a Rasputin. And let's get ready for the shit show. Recording's all good. Still. I'm fumbling because my eyes itching like crazy. How dare you move? Oh, oh that was so close. Alright, it's going to show the cutscene again. So I will be right back. And just like that, the second video is done. Now, I did forget to show you the loadout and the subclass, so I will quickly go over that now. We are on Wall of Radiance with Empowering Rift. Um, Any glide will work, anything that you're most comfortable with. We're using the Incinerator Snap for the spreading of the Scorch and Ignition. Fusion Aid that's a given when it comes to the starfire protocol uh we're using touch of flame because fusion grenades explode twice as you can see at the bottom um icarus dash for the uh, mobility uh then we are using ember of benevolence or applying restoration cure or radiant to allies grant increased grenade melee and class ability regeneration for a short duration now that one necessarily didn't work when i was in there on my own because of the fact of again i was on my own i had no allies so um that can probably be changed out for anything else really probably ember of singeing your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets via the incinerator snap um next i was using ember of torches which empowered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant and radiant if you guys don't know about solar 3.0 it will give you increased damage to foes ember of ashes you apply more scorch stacks to targets and finally ember of char your solar ignition spread scorch to afflicted targets now for the weapon as you saw in the beginning, we have with a horde. We also have the Callus Mini Tool with Unrelenting and Incandescent. Then again, we have the Cataclysmic. Ghost Shell doesn't really matter. And then on the armor, we have Ashes to Assets and Elemental Charge on the helmet. We have Heal Thyself and impact induction on the gloves for the starfire protocol itself the void damage resistance elemental diffusion substrate and elemental ordnance where elemental ordnance if you get a grenade kill you will make a elemental well on the boots innovation recuperation and again heal thyself and finally on the bond two sets of bomber and bountiful wells so yeah that was pretty much it 
for the Warlock attempt at Soul of Flawless with the Final Dawn mission. So I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the final video where we attempt on the Titan. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys.